Kessler and Valencia, welcome to this moment in your lives. It took a while. We had to wait a whole extra year, but we made it. You made it, and you made it. Today especially, we say come unity because it's your day of unity. And so it's also the end of a journey, of two journeys actually, your journeys as separate people to now become one. This guy was our team player. Like he taught us how to be a team as a family. And Kessler really is the glue of our family. Like, he really brings us together. He's an amazing young man full of love. The love of his family, of his friends, of his buddies, of his bros, and all of his big heart. And it's just amazing combination. Over the years, Valencia has always been so thoughtful and naturally made others around her feel included. Feel included especially those who may have felt outcasted or out of place at any point in time. She constantly perpetuates her genuine love for her family and friends through action and empathy. All right, so there's a the reason why I give you guys all puzzle pieces. So whenever I describe who my friends are as people, I always say that they're a piece of me. You guys have all been there through very like m just like major parts of my lives and you guys all hold a very special piece of my heart literally your puzzle pieces they fit oh, as a big puzzle oh yeah so and of course i put gang gang, gang, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 i'm so proud and happy to witness her finding love and sharing it with her special someone who who I can clearly see cherishes her and the family that they're growing. And like Ariel had mentioned, always, always make everyone feel included. And I remember um, there were kids in a, a special needs class and she was best friends with them. She was best friends with the ones that were very, very shy. She's never, ever met a stranger. And I remember when she was little, she would always call me her best friend. I would tell her I'm not your best friend. And you are not to talk to me like I'm one of your, your little friends. I'm your mom. But I tell her now, if I was not her mom, she would most definitely be my best friend. I haven't been in Chaney's life all that long. And one thing about uh, Chaney that I admire is that she made me feel so loved. And she treated me more like a dad than even my, my own biological kid. And so one thing about her, I learned about Cheney, she's one of the most caring, one of the most loving, giving people that I've ever met. And it's, it's almost angelic. She's like an angel. The legend goes that when each of you were born, a string was tied around each of your feet. And as you've grown, the string has gotten shorter and shorter until you finally come together. And it might have tangled and it might have snagged, but this is the moment it will never break. And this is the day that you have finally made it here into each other's arms.
Valencia, you have been my best friend, mentor, cornerstone, playmate, confidant, and my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love of my life. You make me happier than I could ever imagine. I'm grateful for our friendship and our family. I'm happy that your photo made it on the mantle at <laughs> Oldies. Without your giving spirit, we would have never met. I, I can never leave you, not for a moment, not for an hour. You are in everything, you are everything. My drink is your sweetness, I move to your command. Your soul and my soul are truly one soul. I long for no one but you. In the garden of grace, I am only a germinating sprout. The crown of my blooming is the desire to be in your arms. I love you always and forever. Kessler, I remember living in downtown Los Angeles, modeling and thinking to myself, I can totally do this for the rest of my life. And at that point, I decided I did not want to get married. I did not want to have children. I just wanted to be a cool and off for the rest of my life, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the universe had other plans for me. After our first date, our love story began. We found out that we were pregnant about a year later and I freaked out. <laughs> I remember being so afraid and crying almost every night, but you were my sunshine. One night I was crying and you held me in your arms. Sorry. <laughs> and you started singing. <laughs> and you started singing the Bob Marley song, Every Little Thing is Going to Be Alright. I love you so much, Kessler. <laughs> I love you so much, Kessler. I love your soul. I love your kind heart. I love that you keep your cool when I'm crazy. I love that you're empathetic. I love that you challenged me to be better. Kessler Bernard R. Brewster, it's so wild that our love story all started with the photo. I've loved you for six years, seven months, and 27 days. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and you and I both know that our love story has not been easy. But both of us stand here today with open hearts and ready to accept each other's love and give each other love. You have a beautiful soul, and I'm so grateful that our paths have crossed. Kessler, today I will become your wife. That is a title that I will cherish forever. I have decided as your wife, I'm going to make some promises to you here today. So, number one, Kessler, I promise to always lead with love, no matter what emotions I may be feeling. I promise to always have your back. I promise to always remind you of your intelligence, your strength, and your beautiful soul when you have self-doubt. <laughs> from this way, from this day forward, I promise to always be a personal stylist. And I don't think we need an explanation for that promise. <laughs> you look amazing today though. <laughs> and last but not least, we may not always like each other, but I promise to always love you. Relationships are not perfect. And I know we will have disagreements and we will face challenges in our lifetime together. But let me tell you something. Challenge accepted, baby. I love you. And now it is my profound honor and pleasure with the blessing of spirit that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes,
thing that I, that I can say that you have sitting next to you is a man that is filled with values and virtue. One thing that I can think of is you have a guy that's next to you that is going to go full bore, 110%, every play, every down. Doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He'll break whatever wrist, neck, head, anything for you. He, he's going to give it to you undying. You have a guy that's sitting next to you that is going to love you graciously without expectation. You are two of the most unique people and how how you found each other is it's it's divine. This is so divine. It's beautiful. You guys have such a beautiful and unique way that you've created your life and decided to make this step to creating a solid family. And I just, you know, I love you guys so much. Yeah, I admire you for allowing each each one of you to evolve in their own way and at their own pace. And the most beautiful blessings aren't planned and at first may strike fear because of uncertainties to come. But you both have taken on challenges together with respect to each other's individuality that has already begun to nurture the prosperity to come in your family's future. like your parents taught us. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Love each other the way you want to be loved. Never neglect your love. And always put each other first. After God. And with that, I promise you your love will never lose. A wise man many of us have years older once said, you provide the effort and God will turn you out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this including Kenny, is that out. Let me remind you, Kessler, that V is Spirit's gift to you. You are therefore asked by Spirit to love this woman, that in your love she might find herself as Spirit has created her, so beautiful and strong and brave and true. May she relax in your arms as she has never relaxed before. May she know from now on, that there is one in whose love she can depend forever. V, so it is that Kessler is Spirit's gift to you. And it is Spirit's desire that in your love, that he might find a home that nurtures the greatest sense of who he is, that thus he may be healed. God's prayer for both of you and Kenley and any more children that may come into this relationship might find in each other and in your family's love such profound acceptance and total release that shall be a part of healing the world.